Hey everyone, I'm so excited I got my setup finally. We're gonna try to restock my hair oils. I started pouring some of the oils before I realized I didn't have the camera on yet. Come on, Lacey, come out there, go out there, baby. Get the dog out real quick. So, I have in here right now just fractionated coconut oil and Jamaica black castor oil. Where did I just put Jamaica black castor oil? Oh, this was a gift to me. This is what I've been using and I love it. You can't see over here, but I got all my goodies over this way. The pup's probably going to end up wanting to come back in here. So we will see. Now, I'm just, bear with me I got stuff all over back here. As I get everything I need. The hair oil I get the most requests for is the growth. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I'm just, as I, I got so much stuff over here. I got containers everywhere. They're giving a tons of samples of goodies. And I got them all over the place. What is this? I don't want to do up. I got stuff here. I don't even know what it is. I got glacial water, volcanic water. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet. Hmm. This is marine water. I just found. I was trying to figure out. I got two of them. Hmm. Might put those in a soap. This is ice cap water. on what I got here that I could do container out of container. Now I'm debating on if I want to use the aloe powder from Caribbean Naturals or do I want to use the liquid? I think I'm going to go with the liquid. This is from Crafter's Choice.
Okay, I have here Silk Protein Powder, which I'm gonna add a little bit into the oil. I ran out of silk oil, so I'm gonna have to use the powder. This is my secret agreement gradient. It's called Alma. I use it for everything. It's good for your skin. It's good for your hair. I love it because it reverses premature and graying. That is a little bit of that in. And I also add. A little bit of the oil too. I put this. I put this in Jamaica bath caster, and my shampoos and my conditioners. I make it. I use it with my conditioning mask. I make. My hair, I just absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna leave this in the oil, so okay. So I decided to give it a smell. Let me see which ones I want. I think that's good. Now have the vitamin E. You turn the heat off in the house. It's starting to get quite hot in here. The vitamin E is kind of thick, so I'm going to do it by a spoon. I mean, you could see how thick it is. This is flaxseed oil, which is really good for your hair also. I'll do that one last.
I want to do is make sure I get the everything I have to make sure I get the I try to get all the best. I can get it. So I try to go through each and every um container here. Make sure I get all the the good the goodness your hair needs. That's why it takes me a little longer when I make my oils because I have so many containers of little samples. So I have to go through, so I go through them little by little. I don't even know what you are anymore. Oh, I know what you are. Okay, so I got here Virgin Golden Hojaba oil. I have Arrogant oil. Sea buckle thorn off. Oil. And I just add a little bit of each piece in. About four milliliters. This is one half. That's four and a half. Seven milliliters of air again. Air gone. It's done. I've done the time for you. Oh, you want to help me with these containers as I get done with them? She get uh, long she ain't in the way. Five milliliters of the golden hojaba. figure out what to do with them. I'm just glad I was able to explain again. Things set up so I can still do videos again. Now as you see the kids, be able to see the kids make the soaps. See the cool things we stop doing. What I do, with my what I do with it, I made. Could be anywhere. No. Hmm. Oh, I see it. There 
gonna go to my dad. My other secret ingredient, but I don't, I use this personally, so I don't put it in my hair oils. Is mola? I love mola. Now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna measure out some olive. This is from Earth Supply Products. They were great. I'm gratefully thankful for the huge package I got from them. So I'm gonna add about half, half an ounce of olive. Along with the half ounce, I'm gonna add two of the bamboo fiber extract and chamomile. Okay. Now I'm gonna add one last bottle. Jada, I dropped the lid back here. You're gonna have to get it. It went back there, so you're going to have to try to get without making a mess. Okay. See it back there? Yeah. Spot my mm -hmm. This is used, this is rosemary extract. It can oh, be used oh. as a preservative. It could be, it has so much benefits for your skin. Hey, uh, so some stuff falls back there, so it's put the lid on that. I use it for my hair all the time. You yeah, take this and wash it out. I use point two of that. Now I have some. I want to add essential oils on the essential oils are really good for your hair too. So I'm just I'm gonna add a few drops of bergamot. That should be good. I'm going to use these other side that set out. A mini mixer here, so what I'm gonna do just take my spatula out, and just kind of mix all this up really good. Now, when I make my personal oils, I like to use herbs and I'll infuse them into the oil. But when I make this to bottle, I don't do that. But I will put, because you could add herbs and let it infuse to actually get back more. Now me out the uh -huh. herbs, but out of your oils too. Uh -huh. Yes. Come on, going on the scene. Oh, I throw it away, cause that's what happened. To, I had to throw one of them away too. Because it looked like it was weakened on the scene. So, one of my favorites to add. 
and I've had oils last months. I get the Oma shifted, cut it shifted, and I'll put some of this into the bottles and let it infuse with the oils. This. Okay, now we got all the main oils together. Now we just gotta get our carrier oil. So, so I find it. Okay. Now I'm gonna measure out my carrier oil. I use 100% grapeseed because it's lightweight and it's really. And it's really good for your hair too. Other good choices are sunflower, which I thought was really good. I really like. But most people prefer all, all over things like that. I apple apricot kernel is also another really good choice. So now I'm just gonna stir this up. Set in my thing, please. Now, if you cannot find Jamaican black castor oil, another good option is just regular castor oil. I got this big thing, and it's two, two pounds. I get this off of Amazon. I don't, I use castor oil, but I don't use a ton of it like I used to in my soap. So I go for the small amounts. But you could get used to that too. And it, the regular castor oil does help with hair growth also. I just like the Jamaica black because it is. It's really good with growth also, but for me, it makes your hair grow faster. Now I'm going to just still keep mixing this up for a few minutes. The powders I added, all that good stuff. I just want to make sure it's all mixed up really well. I got Jade in here. Yeah, yeah, you could clean the I oven. I clean the stove top. It pop, that stuff polished too, like a polish. You gonna help? You wanna help? Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you wanna try a piece? It's good for your health. Okay, let's go try to eat some alma. What's it taste like? Oh, oh. Yeah, it is hard. It's best. What does it taste like? It's like a sweetest bitter taste. He says it tastes as sweet and bitter. But they use the, um, I have to put the name in the description below what they call it. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. I got my phone oh, here. You got five and six. Yeah, it's really good for you. It's good for hair. Oh, so I can make tea with this for you. That's what I was supposed to say. Okay. You can use it for teas. You can use it for all kinds of... Another name for it is Indian Gooseberry. So if you cannot find it as Alma, which is A-M-L-A, -A, look up Indian Gooseberry. It contains vitamin C, it's good for your immune system, brain health, heart health, digestive, skin, hair, eye, weight loss. Oh, I need a whole pound of this. 
and tells you how to eat it, how to drink it, how to use it in your body. It tells you who should use it. It says, um, if you're diabetic, you, you better consult the doctor before using it. But I'm trying to find... Okay, I'm going to make mommy some tea. So you're saying I'm fat? What? That's not make you fat? Okay, here it is. It's, it's been used for centuries in India in the Middle East. It is called, I don't know how, it's, I'm, a, I'm going to spell it, A-Y-U-R-V-E-D-I-C, medicine. Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic. Ayurvedic medicine. And it's been, this stuff has been used for centuries. And this is what the, um, they use over in the Middle East to make their hair grow long. And it gives them a really beautiful, shiny look to their hair. I learned about it actually from an Indian lady from over there. But I have just a little bit. I have some with it. Some don't. I got three bottles here. So I'm going to do three with the shifted organic. And then whatever I have left, I'm not going to add this to. What do you need a strainer for? I'm trying to at least cover the bottom. This one just doesn't want to cooperate with me. And I'll show you a close-up of it in a minute of what it looks like. But this is by far the best stuff I've found for my hair. And it's done, I, it's, it's done tremendous just on my hair. What I use it for my hair needs for and I, every time I have people ask me I tell them to look this okay there it is I'm trying to see if it'll pick up the color a little bit better come on This is what it looks like up close. I just take it like a couple, I'll take about a teaspoon of toothbrush in my shampoos. And so, uh, that's it. I, I'll be very, I'll be very, very happy with the turn out because of how I really, I'm starting to not see no more breakage and that skin with my, I've been told so many times, even when I was in Tennessee, how is your hair so healthy? Because if anybody knows me, my hair was always dyed. If it wasn't dyed, it was bleached and cut and it, it was, it was a mess. So what I'm going to do now. Let's get my scale. Let me move the phone out of the way. And I'm going to weigh out the oils. Because I've had, I've got people been patiently waiting for this restock of hair oils. Okay, so I'm going to just throw them all. So I'm going to just do this up just a couple more minutes, a second, so I should say, okay. And I'll pour from the other angle so you can see. Mm. 
These are about two ounce bottles. Now what I, before I post them for sale, I gotta do everything else. I'm gonna shake this really good. And I'll let it sit for a couple days. Now give me time to let, to let this, um, if used, and get my labels ready. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. Throw out my scale and just repeat the process. Okay, I'll step away for a minute. I'm just mixing this up again. I will add some more to my base, my oils. And I'm just stirring it up. I have some more carrier, some more of my olive, some more castor. When I make my stuff, I like to, she goes tell, I like to do things in small batches. I like to, because I felt the smaller the batch, the better control you have over your eye, your products. Larger batches just isn't my thing. I 
got some oil left. So I'm going to put in my shampoo and conditioner. Jada! I have four containers here, which I'll probably make it to the oil. Will you bring me my shampoo and conditioner? Uh-huh. The mane and tail. No, I got my own set oh. over there. I'm watching the metal grid thing now, so the stuff in the inside, I got the, as best as I could get clean, otherwise it's stuck in there. These are our body souffles. I'm so excited about. I got two potions I make. This one is for like sensitive skin with a raw African shea butter. Hold on, you could take a bath. I used these. This yeah. one and that one. I used it this morning and I think I used it Wednesday. What are you doing? Pouring some in here. Oh, look at this This is your shampoo conditioner I, I like. I have these two and okay. I have one other. Will you go give me that um, square box? Bottle. Okay. And just shake it up real good. And of course, I gotta make a mess. I'm a very messy person when it comes to stuff. Now you just, I think, just shake it really well. Like this? Yep. And I found this at Ross. I absolutely love. I use this after my mane and tail. And then I'm just going to take what's left in my little container and pour it in here too. This was not that expensive at Ross, and I absolutely love it. It has made my hair so shine and soft. And on Amazon, it's selling for a $8.99. I did not pay that much for it. And they don't sell just conditioner. That's a bummer. I paid. Three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Alright. Will you wash this out for me? Mm -hmm. Put that back. I'm going to show you what, guys, what I've been up to. I got to go well my beads. Oh, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see here. Let's zoom out. I got aroma beads everywhere. I got aroma beads soaking. For our new project, I got some airing out. I 
I got a puppy that don't want to move. This was my first one I did. Ain't that little French on there so cute. We go over here. Oh, my wax melts are cute. I still got some more to make. I forgot to get the soy wax today. But I have to say, these, my hot cocos, and I just set it up there. My candy canes are probably my favorite designs. Oh, and the peppermint patties. They look like mint chocolate chips. Well, thank you all for joining us today. Hope to see you again. And I'm so excited that we're able to record. And you guys should see us now while we're making our stuff. Oh, my Bob shell. Catch y'all later.